This is a job that I was cutting all summer. Uh, there's quite a bit of steep ground in it. I know it doesn't look steep on the camera here, but it's, it was pretty steep for where I'm at in Michigan. We're uh, cutting a mixed bag of cherry, oak, hickory, white oak, red oak, black oak, and then hickory, maple, uh, a little bit of white oak, but pretty good mixed bag of stuff here. I'm just cutting this ridge this, where we're building this road through here uh, just to make it a little easier to skid. They're letting me use a D7 cat dozer they have here in the pit to uh, build roads. And that, that was awfully nice of them. All I had to do was put fuel in it. So that definitely helped make the skid roads a lot better. When you can make them a lot nicer and smoother, they, well, your, your skidder operator definitely appreciates it. Plus, the skidder does too because you can really move a lot more wood at a better speed uh, when you cut your roads out. So that's what a little bit of this film is going to be um, towards the end is me just running the dozer and you know showing you guys me cutting some roads. But right here is just uh, me cutting timber on the on the property line and uh, getting this hill cut off. It's it's a lot steeper than it was, but. Uh, I'd, I would like to at least show you guys this. This was in a time lapse, so I slowed it down, but it still sped up quite a bit. And just getting those trees down. And Chris is here in the 610C. He's uh, pre skidding up to the landing, getting some wood ready for me to get in the boom and start bucks off, you know, bucking logs. And uh, right now we just wanted to get this cut off. Down in the low spot there to the right is a big wet hole. So we got to work around that. So that's kind of why I'm bringing the trees over to the road for him to just get up the rest of up the hill the rest of the way. So I didn't want him to get down in that wet hole and get stuck and stuff. And he's a little newer at this time, so didn't want to make too much of a challenge for him. And just trying to get some keep some wood away from me and keep uh, keep a little room for me to throw wood around. But he's he's staying right on top of it. This was right before we got the 620. Uh, the 620 would have been a big help on this job. We were here all summer and where you can only pull one to three trees with the top of the 610. The, the 620, it will pull six to ten trees with top. So that would have been nice to have for this job, but we got it right, right at the tail end of this job. So I didn't get to get a whole lot of film with the 620 on this job. It'll be more film of it on the next job. That will be highway work, uh, clearing along the highway. But this is just some old film we had, and I got quite a bit more of it we're going to show uh, of just logging mostly and just film I've had for the last couple years. I, I started getting into making videos, and then we, we had a kid, and... and uh, trying to enjoy life a little bit and uh, keep up so now I'm getting back into the videos and want to show you guys as much as possible and uh, answer any questions or anything you guys got this is just a quick like I said a quick time lapse of me cutting the side hill and what I'm doing is mostly just trying to get production out is really is what we're trying to do here we're not I'm not limiting them off or anything because I have a dilemma on the grounds or on the knuckle boom so we just get them down bunch them up so the skitter can just grab and go and uh, I don't do much trimming in the woods unless it's a really big tree I'll try to buck them up maybe cut the top off and do some trimming on the real big trees just so they don't drag so hard uh, plus the tops when they get really big like that they just go right in the fire and this job is 150 acres and we cleared all of it and I had to burn the tops that was part of the deal burn the tops I could leave the stumps and any brush that fell off the trees but whatever technically the top of the tree I had to uh, burn so we had a big burn pile going right next to the the landing and what we would do is pull everything to the limmer and then grab the bunch of tops every once in a while and throw it on the fire and back in the woods he went to grab another uh, skid log so we're just uh, 
wanting to get back into these videos and start showing you guys a little more of what I do and how I do it and try to enjoy it a little bit. Um, but the, this woods was, this job was really hilly. It's a sand pit and they mostly go for sand. There's a little bit of gravel in it, but mostly sand. And these hills, I, I didn't get, and you can't tell on film, but these hills are steep for Michigan. I mean, some of these I was going up. Uh, my machine has dual grousers and it all it wanted to climb some of these hills. So right there, like I'm just throwing the trees right in the road so he can back right down and get them. Because uh, those, of course, are some of the first trees he's going to get and uh, get out of my way. So when I get up in the landing and start bucking, he'll go actually towards the back of the woods and start pulling um, and just keep up. Try, try to keep up with a landing loader and here's some good film of just me building roads and him pre-stacking logs at the landing and uh, see that, that skitter only about I think there's three trees there with tops that 610 low that new 620 you guys will start to see in some of the film coming up uh, it's it, it does quite a bit more it's, it's, it's a lot more power so but this dozer they let me use here at the pit, they actually got a brand new, or pretty new, 1050 deer. And uh, so they aren't really using this D7 anymore. And it, tell you what, it's a good dozer. I tried buying it off them, but they don't want to get rid of it. Uh, it, it hogs the dirt. Um, pretty much all I'm doing is trying to take some of the steep points off some of the hills and then blow it down in the in the valley just so you take some of the steepness out of your trip coming you know coming out of the woods uh here's another this is a really steep hill uh, this was a little closer to the landing that i had a ridge off all the way across it and i wanted to blow the top off it and then build a road kind of down the landing and that's pretty much what i did here it's just pure sand i was a little worried that the sand wouldn't pack to where the skitter would climb it but the skitter had only had to climb it empty, so it, it ended up handling no problem. Actually, by the time we got done, or to the point of logging this ridge, we had the 620. So the 620, I think, did most of the skidding off this ridge. But this ridge was really steep, and like like everyone says, you can't tell by the camera, but it was definitely steep, and I, I blew this dirt down, kind of on an angle, to uh, tie in with the other road. And you can see that coming up here. Um, towards the end of the video, but his, this good old dozer, I think it had maybe three or 4,000 hours is all it had on it, but it was just a two-way blade and a, a D7 cat, open cab, and it was, I tell you what, I wish I had it at every job for for building roads and cleaning around the buck saw and everything, all the bark and the debris, pushing it to the fire, it would have been, it'd be nice to have it at every job, but that's not the case, so. This, this is just a little bit of me pushing roads and dirt and showing you guys, trying to get back into the video. So if you, if you can, like and comment, hit the bell there and uh, share it. Share it as much as you can. We get some more subscribers. I'll start giving out some hats and coats and shirts and sweatshirts and maybe start doing a drawing for some of that stuff and uh, start getting rid of some merch. But... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll get off here and you can hear this old cat run, but uh, she's a strong runner. So I appreciate it, everyone, and uh, enjoy the night. Thanks.